Hello, Scoy here doing a tutorial today on how to do basic 3D text, which just like this one, which is for my other channel, which I'm not doing anymore. So, so but just a bit of reflection, which I will show you how to do that in other tutorials. The backdrop, which is a box, and the flooring, which is a plane. So all you do is press File, New, you press No. Um, what I'm going to do is press Reset, so it all goes back to the default over here. So all you do is go on to is there create and then to shapes. You press text and look on here it goes flat. We do not want to do make it go flat, so you press Ctrl and Z to undo. I'm going to this one here, which is the top screen, makes it go flat. Which makes it stand up, sorry. And over here you can make it bigger, smaller, and this here makes the like the distance between the text. I'm just going to keep it a zero for this text. And here's the font. Today I'm going to use Bbas, which you can download from any text websites. Um, Dafonts.com, which is, I think is the best. So um, now this goes goes into the 3D part. Pressing the modify tab, which is up here, and then the modify list. This will drop down. A drop down arrow. Pressing bevel. And here it looks quite bad at the moment. On the height, I normally put it around five or six. And the outline, I put it around minus point two. And then sometimes I don't use them, but for this one, I'm gonna put two there. And then minus not point four. I always double what I put there because it looks better. I'm gonna put the raise up a bit to not point three, and then not point six. Now for the colour, you press M to get, um, you have to deselect that first, press M to get out of the materials layer, and this time, like on the other picture, I'm going to use like a dark blue, so there's a blue, which is down here, ambient, and for specular, I'm going to put it a lighter blue, there we go. So, specular level, I'm going to raise this up quite a bit to make it a bit shiny. Then, for the glossiness and soften, press up once and soften once. That's what I do on all my text, it looks a lot better. So, there we go. Now for the flooring, which is the plane. So, you go back onto the create tool here and press on geometry. Press plane. Doesn't matter what colour or what size it is, because after you have sized it out, you press scale and inform. Then just uh, drag, the drag the middle outwards. Make it bigger, make it so you won't be able to see it anywhere on the screen. Then click on here. If you have a mouse, you can click the middle button, which I don't. I have a laptop. So I'm just working out where I can put the box. I'm going to do it. Make it to the side a second. I'm going to make it small for a minute. Then I'm just going to make it bigger. There we go, see, it doesn't look too good at the moment. I'm just going to drag it along, which is the X. And then, see what else so you can see it. I'm going to drag up the other blue one, which is the top. Then, just for, so you know how to do it. I'm going to go over here, press on the modify tool, press down on text. And here, I'm going to type, SCOY. Then all you do is drag onto here, move it along into the center. I'm going to press on front so it's fully in the center. Then this hand down there, you can move it up. Now for the coloring for the background and the backdrop. For the background, I'm going to do no. For the yeah, for the background, I'm going to do it about 411. And up one and up one. Then I make this darker. Then for the specular. And make that a bit darker too. Drag it onto the background. It looks a bit light there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this up to the bit to the side. Then for the floor, I'm going to leave it as default up to about 250. Glossiness as 11 and soften as 0.11. Now for the reflection part. You go into maps, press the reflection, it says none. Press on the word where it says none, then press double click retrace. 
Do not mess about with any of these stuff, just leave them as default. Then drag onto the flooring. Now here, reflective, not too good at the moment. I'm going to set that out now. And then to the middle. Then over here, press on create, lighting, make sure that says standard. Then omni, and you zoom this out a little, and press it above. Actually, I'm not going to do a normal Omni today. I'm going to press Mr. Omni. Not from the side. I'm going to do it from the left. Do one there. One at the back. Just up, up from the back. And then one at the front to make it shinier. Down here, you press Escape. Then, where it, then drag it up a little. Then you press render, which is the top right here. It's looking a little bit better. A little bit too bright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this one here. Then press back onto the front. Drag that back into the middle. Drag that back into the middle again. So that's basic 3D text and the reflection doesn't look too good. I'm just going to start that. I'm going to do a Mr. Area spot. No, that looks too bright again. I think it's the back one which makes it too bright. So what I'm going to do I'm going to press X on the materials and select that and delete that one. I'm going to start the lighting over again. So what I'm going to do I'm going to choose Omni. And put it just above, so there. Then do area, which is behind as well. Then one which is from underneath it. After you pull it down, you press escape. You press escape again. You want the screen and then however you want it to look. So I'm just going to render it out to have a little look at it. That looks quite good, a little reflection for. So just comment, rate and subscribe and my link will be in the description for both of my channels. So please subscribe to both for more tutorials. So cheers, just comment, rate and subscribe.